Oh, oh my God. Who's got beef? Who's smashing who? Smashing. This is Hip Hop News. It starts right, 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 right now. Yeah. Gossip. Yeah. 411. Yeah. And all the latest tabloid bullshit. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I got that juice. juice. No AP. That's right, I got you juicy entertainment news for Friday. So R. Kelly's first sex trial of many concluded this week. Um, we chatted about it yesterday, and yesterday they had the closing arguments, and during the closing arguments, his defense team compared R. Kelly to Martin Luther King. Yeah. Uh, running right out, right? In my opinion. Uh, his defense attorney said that what is happening to R. Kelly is much like that of Dr. Martin Luther King because R. Kelly is fighting against prosecutors the way Dr. King fought against constitutional rights. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, obviously, this is why you pay them the big bucks, right? Um, he went on to quote portions of Dr. King's speech, I've been to the mountaintop. I just, I, I wish that Obviously, no media is allowed in the courtroom, but can you imagine if, you know, folks had been allowed in that courtroom just to see the expressions on people's faces? Um, the jury's going to be deliberating soon, and R. Kelly faces 10 years to life if convicted for this trial, which is the sex trafficking trial. Um, of course, he still has to stand trial for more uh, charges in Illinois. He's looking at uh, somewhere between 40 and 50 years. Um, the prank war between Kevin Hart and Nick Cannon continues. You might remember back in July, Nick Cannon kicks things off by sending Kevin Hart a exotic pet. He sent him a llama for his birthday. You remember the picture on Instagram with Kevin standing next to the llama who was exactly the same height as Kevin. Um, well, right away, a couple weeks later, Kevin Hart got him back. He posted billboards in Los Angeles, Atlanta, and New York with Nick Cannon's telephone number, telling people to call him if they needed advice on fatherhood. Obviously teasing the fact that Nick Cannon has seven kids. Um, well, Nick has a new daytime talk show coming out September 27th called Nick Cannon that uh, he promoted this week by releasing a teaser for the show that previews another prank that he did on Kevin. Um, now, we only get to see Kevin Hart's reaction in the clip so we don't know what the prank is but he threw a couple of F-bombs and said Nick Cannon strikes again so it looks like it was a pretty good one. You'll have to tune in to Nick Cannon's new show September 27th to see the prank. Captain Kirk is going to space for real. That's right. 90-year-old William Shatner will be taking a ride with Jeff Bezos on the Blue Origin rocket ship. You know, uh, Captain Kirk will be part of the second crew to take a 15-minute civilian space flight in the New Shepard capsule on October 15th. This will make William Shatner the oldest person ever to be launched into space. He's so cool. I absolutely love him. Um, and of course, fans are speculating. You can guess if he's going to wear his Captain Kirk uniform. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be so great. Um, he's going to be documenting it, so we will have an opportunity to see if he really does wear it or not. Uh, he spoke to Discovery about a documentary, but that didn't materialize. So now he is um, he has taken the project somewhere else is in negotiations. So um, it's also not clear whether he's paying for his spot on board, because remember, the first flight... The final civilian seat went for more than $20 million for 15 minutes. Um, it went out at an auction. But I have a feeling that this is probably a freebie because this is great promotion for Bezos. I mean, William Shatner, the original Star Trek Captain Kirk, going to space? Nobody else can talk that. Pretty cool stuff. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Friday. Make sure you lock it in again on Monday for more of the juice. Right here on the all-new KISS 96. Got a little rocket man for you. Turn it up and feel the music.